Welcome to Vacuum 2. In this video, you will learn the five most important things about using Swedge Lock Tooth compression fittings. Rule number one, assemble the fittings in the proper order. For that, you need to understand all components and their functions. The Swedge Lock Tube fitting consists of a body and a nut. Between them, there is a front ferrule and a back ferrule. Let's look at the shape of the back ferrule. The bevel of the back ferrule should face the front ferrule. The front ferrule has a cone shape. The large diameter of the cone goes onto the bevel of the back ferrule, with smaller diameter facing the body. The seal occurs between the outer surface of the front ferrule and inside part of the body. High pressure force deforms the front ferrule into the tube, which creates a perfect seal. Let's take a look at the proper order of putting the parts together. The nut goes onto the tube first. The back ferrule goes into the nut next. Next goes the front ferrule, and the final piece is the body. Watch the second part of the series with important details of swedge lock fitting.